This is part two of the supermarket refrigeration equipment. So if you haven't listened to part one yet, please go back and do so. Variable frequency drives are also an important part of modern supermarket refrigeration. Variable frequency drives to control compressors and fan motors are being used more frequently as a way to reduce energy cost. Most of these motors are three-phase asynchronous induction motors. Their speed is directly related to the number of motor poles and the frequency of applied current. Low frequency and therefore low motor speed startup reduces the high current surge encountered within conventional motors. The frequency can then be adjusted to operate the motor at a speed that is best matched for the demand. In conventional rack systems, parallel compressors are turned on and off by a control system. This cycling leads to high current inrush each time a compressor starts. When a rack system uses variable frequency drive, the motor speed control can adjust the compressor capacity through a wide range of demand, which limits cycling, decreases power consumption, and increases the useful life of the compressor. To maintain a more appealing shopping environment, Many supermarkets display some of the refrigerated merchandise in open display cases. This is due to the belief that open display cases allow the product to be more sellable. People do like to buy what they can touch. New supermarket designs are moving towards more cost-efficient closed display cases. This is partially because open displays can absorb heat from the inside of the store, which adds to the total refrigeration load and increased energy consumption. They also have a considerable impact on the inside store temperature, which is kept l relatively low. Open display cases are designed and engineered to hold product at a temperature at which it enters the case. They are not designed to reduce a product temperature. They are designed primarily to handle heat leakage into the case. They are also not designed to store products for long periods of time. There are several types of open display cases. You have a single deck, you have a multi-deck. Since open display cases have no door, they rely on an air curtain to provide the barrier between the store's environment and the product. Air curtain is just a stream of high pressure air that basically provides an insulation layer. Okay, and if you take a look at this, you take a look at the air curtain with infrared. The green line is the air curtain. Okay, that is an area of air that is blown down from the top of the display case and sucked back in at the bottom. You'll see to the left, you have blues and purples, that's cold temperature. To the right, you have the warmer outside temperatures. The evaporator and fan are typically mounted on the bottom of the case. The fan will force air through the coil up a channel at the rear and and top of the case through a set of honeycombs located in the top front of the case and discharge air down the front of the case's shelving. The honeycombs are designed to create a uniform air pattern and even put the air flow across the case. Single deck display cases are refrigerated cabinets resembling a coffin in which the product is merchandised horizontally. Open single deck cases are designed to provide an air curtain across the top of the case. These cases are less likely to experience problems since cold air is heavier and will normally stay in the case. These are just examples of open style single deck cases. Sometimes you have them closed. They actually put sliding doors on the top of them and that's considered a closed style single deck case. Multi-deck cases are, di are different than single deck cases because the merchandise is layered in a vertical fashion. This allows more products to be seen at eye level, making it more appealing to the customer. These are sometimes referred to as vision type cases because mirrors are used to enhance the appearance of a product. Okay, this is an example of a multi-deck case. Some of the cases will have misting systems to wet down the produce as needed. As some of the produce products need to be kept moist, this increases the shelf life of a product and increases its appeal to the customer. A basic misting system consists of a water tube with multiple spray heads, a timer, a water filter, and a solenoid valve. A typical dairy case normally operates at a discharge air temperature about 36 degrees. 
Single deck and multi cases can be used to display meats and frozen foods. These normally operate a discharge temperature of 26 degrees. The multi-deck open case air curtain is directed down the front of the case, opening with the discharge air at the top of the opening and the return at the bottom of the opening. Medium temperature cases usually have a single air curtain, while low temperature cases will have three separate air curtains. These three air curtains provide sufficient barriers between the temperatures outside the case and inside the case. They are primary air curtain, secondary air curtain, and ambient air curtain. The primary air curtain is the coldest and closest to the product. The secondary curtain is slightly warmer and is in front of the primary air, air curtain. And the ambient air curtain is a blanket of store air that is directed straight down the front of the case. This air curtain is not recirculated within the case. As a general guideline, Medium temperature single deck cases will have approximate discharge velocity of 120 to 140 feet per minute. Single deck low temperature cases will go 200 to 250 feet per minute. And multi deck medium temperature will do 170 to 400 feet per minute. The primary air curtain on a multi deck low temperature case is 550 feet per minute. Secondary would be 400 feet per minute and ambient is 250 feet per minute. So the air curtains provide a very important part of the insulation between the open display cases and the rest of the air in the store environment. It's what maintains the temperature difference between the inside and outside of the case.